Welcome to Science in the Apocalypse, where we'll take modern science and apply it to post-apocalyptic scenarios. I'm Rob, and this is Doug. We're both sort of doomsday preppers, but instead of stockpiling supplies, we've been stockpiling knowledge. Today, we're going to go over showing you how to purify water. This is Science in the Apocalypse. So we've got some funky water. We have it in a pet plastic bottle. There's not going to be any safe water anywhere for you to drink. No load of bacteria. This sample we got out of a small pond has, we approximated around 350,000 active bacteria in just the range that we're able to grow on a petri dish. So we're not going to be drinking this version of the water today, but we do have a, a version of this that's been out in the sun for about... 15 hours, 15 hours of sunlight, so Gosh. hopefully the UV radiation has killed those guys. The other thing we're going to look at today is distillation. It uses a lot more equipment and special techniques. Alright, well let's go to the field and let's go pull these bottles and see what we have going on. Alright. We've brought in our two outside uh, bottles. This one is controlling for ultraviolet light because it's got ultraviolet shielding on it. Uh, but it still is exposed to the same environment and temperature as our experiment. So we'll be able to rule those things out. All right. Yeah. And then we have obviously our inside control and that's controlling for everything else. So we are gonna get a high power laser involved. <clears throat> yeah, I've got this uh, 500 milliwatt um, ultraviolet laser. It's super powerful, high intensity. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our inside control sample and put it in a little test tube, hold that over here and see if we can't purify everything out of it. Yeah, we expected a ultra high dose of radiation that it's going to deliver is going to kill pretty much anything. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we're going to take our sterile swabs. We're going to take samples from each one of these bottles and we're going to spread them on their designated labeled plate. It's time to move on to phase two. Three. All right, so we have our sample here that we've uh, thoroughly irradiated at this point. So what Doug is doing right now is getting a sample, being careful not to touch the walls of the, the test tube. Now he's spreading it on our agar plate petri dish. Very thorough. All right, and I'm just gonna put this on incubation and we'll check it as soon as possible. Yes. We have nothing left to do but wait. For those and we're not gonna leave you guys hanging so we're gonna have to come back in 24 hours and continue filming let's call it a night and uh, let's convert this to tomorrow all right right editor now 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 boom all time right. travel it's tomorrow so you're looking at this fancy machine right here. Don't worry about any of this right now. We're going to talk about We're gonna this We're going to get to it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Just, right here. Just disregard. Direct your eyes to the center of the screen if you could. Right there. Right there is our inside control group. There's a whole bunch of colonies. You'll notice all of the bacteria groups growing up there. Uh, different colors, different sizes. They're just throwing a party. They're having a grand old time. Living life to the fullest. To the fullest. Yeah. We have here our uh, control. And our experimental, I redid this one a little bit from the clip you saw earlier, but I did it in the side by side to make it easier to see. <clears throat> so our experimental, as you can see, did grow a small amount of bacteria. A but disappointing amount. It's still disappointing. We wanted zero. Zero was optimal. But we're scientists. And Failure this, is inevitable. It's it's gonna happen. This is fine. So what our our new hypothesis is, is that our water was too turbid. Turbid, which is a fancy word for funky, dirty, not clear. Not clear enough. You can't see through it. So the UV light did not penetrate deep enough to murder all the bacteria. But we did see a substantial reduction. 80%? Substantial. So. Yeah. so safer to drink, but not safe. Not safe. Not really. Not comfortably safe. No, you may still poop your pants, but just not as much. 
right up here. Right up here. Yeah. Is our irradiated water sample. So we may have created mutant ultraviolet resistant bacteria. We're not extremely proud of that, but we're gonna make sure these we're don't. Not? We're not. We're gonna make sure these don't fall into the wrong hands, and they will be uh, incinerated. Well. I think it's high time we address the elephant in the room. You talking about this? Our distillation station. I didn't even notice it there. Honestly. So what's in the... Well, in our boiling flask here, we have boiling. Our uh, initial inside control group. Yeah, they're like in a little, like a day spa, like a sauna. It's a really hot sauna. They're mm -hmm. probably already dead. Okay, so they're boiling in there, alive. Alive. Or alive. No, not so much. The water, the moisture, if you will, is vaporizing upwards. It's traveling down into the condensing column where cold water is swirling around rapidly, chilling the vapor into a liquid. That liquid is then dripping down into our three-neck flask. We're gonna sip of this. We're gonna sip it. We're gonna sip of it. I'm not gonna give it a sniff. Yeah? Oh, I'm gosh. just gonna give it a sniff. Remember to waft. I, I don't wanna, I want a direct hit. Do it then. Mm. Go deep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm afraid. Oh my! You're tearing up. You're actually tearing up. I should have walked. I should have walked. Should have walked it. Oof! Public service announcement. Always remember to walk. Mmm. A part of me expected it to smell that way. I think a part of you wanted it to smell that way. I'm, I'm dreading drinking it a little. Really? Yeah. After that big air taste. I'm pretty sure it's safe though. Oh, so do you think water has a sentience? Do you mean right now, or do you mean like as it's expanded? And whatever you did, leave it. Huh? I think it just achieved the laminar flow. That's no, cool. laminar flow is when it's all flowing in one direction. That's not going to achieve laminar flow. Yeah, a little bit. No. Definitely not. If it was laminar flow, that's, that's like when I pee in the morning. Yeah, let's cut it. <laughs> so we've cleaned up the set a little bit. We took our nasty water. Uh, we finished distilling it dumped that flask out, uh, the nasty water, the remaining nasty water, cleaned it all out, mm -hmm. took our clean distilled water, mm -hmm. poured it into our boiling flask again, and we're distilling it a second time, and this is our result here, our precipitate. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, this will eliminate some of the smell, some of the taste, mm. twice the distillation, half the flavor. You know what has to happen now. I have to smell it. Remember to waft. Rob. Rob. Rob! <laughs> <coughs> Always waft. Mm, it's not that bad. It's not? No, it's fine. Great. Yeah. No, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, because that made that reassured me a lot. Your reaction there. Yeah. yeah. Is it normal for my eyes to water? I think no. I think my body thinks I'm being attacked, and it's moistening my eyes to protect them. You gotta, you gotta flush the stanky chemical. You get another hit. It tastes like something. No. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Do, do you, you uh? Do you wanna? This is probably good. Left to right. Yeah. I think we have enough to sip. To sip of, to sip upon. So we're lowering the lap jack. All right, let's see what we got. 
Just gonna grip it right here by the husk. The husk? Mm-hmm. It's a little piece, of, it's called a, it's not called a husk. Okay. Oh, God. All right, so we've taken our three-neck flask, we have opted out of drinking out of it together. It, it proved to be too... Difficult. Difficult. Dif Difficult. So, we've transferred the water to these small receptacles. It doesn't smell that bad. It doesn't smell that good. It's just like a trash pile of earthworms, like we talked about before. Yeah, that you lit on fire. Yeah. I think it's time. good. Earthy. Much better than it smells, for sure. Well, hey, uh, we took funky pond water. We made drinkable water. We're still alive. I think. So, we made, uh, we made water a little bit cleaner using sodas. About 80%. It wasn't as clean as we needed it to be, but mm -hmm. it was a lot cleaner than I expected it would turn out. We achieved a similar result by zapping a smaller sample with a laser. A uh, fraction of the time, same result, however. That was impressive. So what's coming up next for us? We're going to do soap, and we're going to make candles. Bright. Both, yep. Yeah, both very, very important things to be able to produce out of junk. All right. We're going to use makeshift stuff later on. Make sure you subscribe so you catch us on those episodes. Give us a like or a comment, and we'll see you next time. Catchphrase. No, but seriously, we need a catchphrase. We do, yeah. Uh, help us out figuring out what our catchphrase is. Leave a comment. We will use uh, your catchphrase. Your catchphrase. In a future video. I'll sneak it in. I will sneak it in. Did that one work? Uh, less. I'll sneak it in. Uh. See you next time. Boil it out. <laughs> Don't drink the water. Catchphrase. Take infinity, apparently. Catchphrases. Catchphrases. Boil that flask. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. When in doubt, boil it out. Boil it out. <laughs> Taco Bell. Got her runs. Hershey Kiss. Lasers. <laughs> no further lasers. Laser sound? Pew pew. Oh. Hershey Kiss is the segue for my lasers. Uh. It was a dip back into the other joke. Bacteria. Gross. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I can't think of another one. Tear off your glasses. See if that inspires something. Inspirational. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Awesome. That was a good one. Thank you. How about woe on three? Okay. Whoa. You could fill some of these in <laughs> randomly too. <laughs> I'll just cut them in where they don't belong. Wow. Skunky. They might get the wrong idea. <laughs> wow. What? That had a stank on it. That had a... <clears throat> that was nose angry. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna break the stool. Yeah. I'm not crying, but my eyes are moist. <laughs> <laughs> How about sip of it? 
Mm. <laughs> We're gonna sip a bit. Sip of it. We're gonna sip of it. We're gonna sip of it. We're gonna sip of it. It's been sipped upon. Sipopotamus. <laughs> Sipopotamus Rex. Sipopotamus Rex. Sipopotamus Rex. Jazz hair. That's not a catchphrase. It's just nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Sip of it. Sip of it. What if it was so hot? You just grabbed it. It's not. I have a heat sense. Mm hmm. I can feel heat. Can you feel it? Can you? What about let's do science? Let's do that kind of. Like a. How about let's do science and an awkward high five? <clears throat> Alright. Alright. <clears throat> let's, let's do, do science. science! Science time! Scientific! Scientific. Mathematical. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one. I'm not I'm not as good at the word play. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Theoretical. These are just science words. <laughs> it's it's Meteorites. <laughs> Hypothesis. <laughs> this is devolved to vocabulary lesson. <laughs> what is the largest word you know that you can make into a science video? Jack that mantle up. Ooh. <laughs> Let's put the heat on it. <laughs> Gotta have the distinctive click in that one. My hand itches. <laughs> yeah, from it stings. It just stings. It stings in here. Let's put it under the scope. The microscope. Bacteria. Gross. That's always that's always what I think of. What about let's get back to the bacteria? Ooh, I like it. We have to get back. Back where? To the bacteria. <laughs> Whoa! That's so loud. <laughs> it's just a chunk of audio. What? <laughs> oh my god. Hey Doug, isn't there somewhere we need to get back to? <gasps> the bacteria. Do that again, but I'm gonna melt under the table. <laughs> okay. Make sure, well, careful because there's a bowl of water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I won't hit the water. It's it's Don't kick that water. Try not to trip on the cords. <laughs> there's a cord right there. That's just good advice. Waft. <laughs> Doug, isn't there somewhere we need to get back to? The bacteria. That's, that's a winner. <laughs> Can we stop now? I mean, we're having fun, but I want to pick through these and see which ones are good. It's at seven minutes. It's seven minutes of just... Hypothesis. <laughs> All right, yeah, I think we have enough. All right. Okay.